prechodov towards another discourse. And he gave me the book. I took the pen and I just scratched something and gave to them. They were shocked and they said, what is this? You have not written anything. I said, if it was a painter, if he had scratched something like that, or scribbled something like that, you would call it as a modern art. <laughs> But in this modern art of scratching or scribbling something is called gibberish. <laughs> language of gibberish. That's the only one language which made the Indian women survive beautifully. And all the doctors, Alopathy doctors, Alopathy doctors scribble something. Only the pharmaceutical company only medical shop, store, they know what it is. <laughs> Nobody else can read that language. All the men, they have only one problem with the wives. The husband will ask a question and the wife will say something else. Especially if she'll start attacking his own mother. <laughs> with that problem is all. He'll get bored. Gibberish, the most beautiful language. who created, why it was created. They say, gibberish is a language when people talk nonsense. It's not about nonsense. Gibberish is the most beautiful language spoken by the trees, spoken by the animals, spoken by the nature, the wind, the sunlight, the rain. I just screamed for the 24th annual day celebration, a day before that celebration, because things were not in proper order. And the senior most teachers came running to me crying. I said, how could you come crying, complaining to me? Throughout the day, you know, from my to Twitter, you have been using gibberish language out there. I said, did I come and say sorry to you? Just for 15 minutes, just take it. These are all gibberish languages to either make you conscious. If you're a bit conscious about, especially the trees and the plants, you can talk to them. My kids are very, very good, especially Devnali. My children are very good in, in understanding gibberish language. Any, any pet animals, call it by the emu bird, we have the turkeys, the geese, the ducks, the guinea fowls, rabbits, cats, doggies especially. Of course, dog, doggies language everybody knows. But these different varieties of languages, yes. They'll come and tell me why and how. <laughs> they can uh, tell whether the bird is hungry or the cat is hungry or angry. So many things. A language of gibberish when you talk. They will even tell me when the plant is going to flower and yes, and how much water we should pour or not to pour. <laughs> if people are very conscious about the gibberish language, I think there won't be any psychologists, any doctors practice that language. That is called the gospel of truth coming out from the mouth of your wife of your husband. If the young wives and husband, if they understand this language, any sound coming out from the mouth of the man, if you don't dissect it up and you just understand the, the, the waves, you understand the volume of the sound, I think uh, you have won the battle of the love. You melted with that man and the man melts with the woman and they both melt together you can only find orgasmic experience of love that is called the deeper the light whenever i come from outside i do not know my kids keep reading <laughs> i can't even change my expression a bit i can't even change the volume of my language if i change my volume they exactly know that i should be given a cold drink of the water Mm -hmm. It is beautiful. And this gibberish language is the language of the meditators. Why meditation came in this world, even 
the chief physician in the White House for Obama and Bill Clinton, Dr. Dean Ornish, who was famous for the reversal of heart diseases. He found out in an experiment, he did one group of people to just take the medicine and do whatever they wanted. Another set of people, he said, take the medicine, but meditate also. And he found out the people who, who were meditating means they are gibberish. They are talking gibberish. Means they either talk in the silence or they don't answer. Just meditating and taking a medicine. He found out 90% or 100% they were cured and other people, they remain exactly the same or they become much worse by taking the medicine. <laughs> so gibberish is a beautiful language. And uh, I went to Pune. No, I went to Bombay. There's one old lady. She was a very big donor to Rakhine State. Suddenly I got the news that uh, she was transported to Bombay in a, elder, in a senior citizen's enclave. So I took the flight, rushed up to see her. And when I reached there, she was already there for six months. She was telling, I said, it's such a beautiful place, air condition, hot and cold water. She, food is served right in her room. You can have food in the dining hall. You can have a TV watching her in the hall or you can have it right in your room. You have to pay 25,000 rupees every month. She can afford she's giving. So I went into, oh, such a beautiful place you got it. He said, what is got a beautiful place? What beautiful place? Can you believe? I can't hear gibberish. <laughs> what is gibberish? I can't hear the sound of the children. We are just in uh, elderly people all in uh, this beautiful enclave. What can we do? Gibberish, the ch child shouting, screaming makes us healthy. Child's hearing the child's voice, shouting, screaming makes us happy. The language of the gibberish. When the wind is blowing, <laughs> you open up your heart to get the, embrace it. The gibberish, the language of the wind. When rain comes, it splashes kids in the village, rushes up, jumps into the pond. The language of the gibberish. When the sun is burning, you go and sweat in the language of the gibberish. You climb the tree and you pluck the uh, mangoes or fruits and you look at the tree, gibberish. The tree is silently watching you in meditation. Gibberish. Practice gibberish. Gibberish is meditation. Gibberish is medi medicine. Gibberish is powerful. Gibberish is intelligence. Yes. You become one of the most intelligent person. Like so clearly said, the only one thing I know is I don't know gibberish.